Well, we're pretty excited about this one. It could be the perfect compromise. You might both end up loving it. We're in Botanic Crescent, which is a stone's throw from Laura's work. This property is on the market for offers over £85,000. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Nice and white. Ooh, we like this. Mm. Wow. Strong so first well. impression, that, that, Definitely. that you... It's so bright. I know, so bright. So, so bright. This kitchen is lovely as well. I love this. It's great, this kitchen, yeah. isn't it? And it's all brand spanking new and really smart. I, really, I like the chrome, actually. It's really yeah. nice. Enough cupboard space for all your pots and pans, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a top kitchen and beautifully finished. But there is one tiny issue for our couple. The logical place for your fridge would be here. But if you're going to have a tall fridge, this kind of height, which you want a fridge freezer, mm -hmm. it's not going to be that narrow. Yeah. So one of these two is going to have to be moved. It's all minor, but my point is be vigilant. Even with a developed building or property, don't think that it's all being done for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's that one. That one. Oh. The inventiveness used in the interior design is really refreshing and added to all those floorboards and white walls, the flat has a great feel. Right, spacious, for a double bed. But is it all going too well? Now why do I have that sinking feeling? I didn't see that the first time we came in, Kirsty. That's quite a bit of dirt. That's the line of the roof. There'll be a gutter or a drain pipe. It's either blocked or it's got a hole in, and that will definitely need attention. So, a bit of a downer after the initial surprise, but hopefully it's not too serious. It's obvious that Gavin and Laura really like Botanic Crescent. It's day three, and time for our second viewings. In the battle of old versus new, Novar Drive, my favourite, has fallen by the wayside. Gavin and Laura decided they loved the character of Botanic Crescent, but the dampness is a cause for concern. So it's competing with the pristine pizzazz of Parkside House. And so, we're off to see them both again. First up is Parkside House, and it's on the market for a fixed price of £119,000. While you're inside, I'm going to go and check out the area, so I'll catch up with you later. See you later. Second viewings are about specifics. We've come back into the sitting room because I reckon that Gavin and Laura's furniture won't fit. They've got the measurements. We're going to mark it out on the floor with the tape. Here's the tape measure. Let's go. Marking out the furniture is absolutely invaluable and a great way to take the shine off your imagination. Uh oh. If you're sitting on the sofa, you can put your feet up in the chair. <laughs> it's one way of looking at it, but yeah, you can see there's not going to be much room, is there? No. Empty flats can be very misleading. You walk in, you think, wow, look at this space. You hear your voice echoing up to the ceilings, and you think, this is huge. But then, when you mark out your furniture, you're amazed. <laughs> On a second viewing, it's really important to check out all around the property. You might just find your ideal home backs on to the back of an enormous boozer. This is a very big pub here. Does it get really busy? It does on a Friday and Saturday night, to be honest. Um, we we'll to build up for the weekend on the first day as well. Mm. But the majority of the reason that people come here is relaxed atmosphere and a huge beer garden. Mm. If you were looking for a flat in Glasgow, would you consider buying a first floor flat in the block behind? To be honest, when we watch those flats being built, uh, we do say we do feel sorry for the people who move in there for the noise that comes from us. <laughs> <laughs> There's no question over the quality, but this second visit is definitely bringing out the things Gavin and Laura hadn't noticed yesterday. Is this more space than you have at the moment? It's less space than we have. No, I think it's more. I feel as though it's longer, this room. We're bursting out of the cupboards we have, and these cupboards are smaller. We've got a huge storage cupboard in the, in the hall. But there's, you can't keep your undies in the hall. <laughs> Second viewing is the time you have to face facts, and Parkside House is just not big enough for them. But we still have the Muse flat in Botanic Crescent to look at, 
it's on the market for offers over £85,000. There's been quite a lot of structural changes in the refurbishment of this. And the person buying this property would have to let his solicitor know that there have been alterations. His solicitor will then raise the inquiries of the seller's solicitor and make sure the seller had building regulations and any planning permission for those alterations. Because when they came to sell it, rest assured, the questions would be asked to them. If they didn't have them, they'd be left high and dry. But while Laura thinks about the layout, Gavin's still got damp problems on his mind. Well, it's very damp. It's very it's random as well, in the sense of playing up here, but yeah. 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 a gap. We did have a lot of rain last night, mm -hmm. didn't we? Obviously. I would say that it's a problem it needs rectifying, but I wouldn't imagine it's a big problem. Damp patches can look scary, but they are often simple to sort out. What you need is to get a decent look at the root of the problem. I've come up here to find out what's causing the damp in the bedrooms. I suspect it's the moss and leaves which are blocking the gutter. Every time it rains, they overflow and the water runs back into the house. If this is the case, it's an easy problem to sort out. I just love it. I just, it's so, I've never seen anything like it. It's everything I want with everything Gavin wants. It's old, but it's new inside. I think it's, I love it's the fact it's quiet. It's off the main road, but, but the road outside is lovely. Um, the kitchen's fine, the bathroom's fine. It's just a case of adding ourselves to it and our own touches and our own taste. So are you now happy that um, you've seen enough, you've seen enough properties and that you're comfortable with this property? Yes, definitely, I am. Yeah. Sure? Uh-huh. It's a very big decision that you're taking. It, it's a huge decision, but I can't imagine liking anywhere as much as I like this place. It's still conditional. And that's obviously with the, the dampness that we've seen. Mm -hmm. We need to get that sorted. Yeah, get that investigated. And But otherwise, I think... Are you ready to note an interest? Yep. Mm -hmm. You feel that you've seen enough properties. Oh, to get make on with it. it, give me the full. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. I call. In Scotland, noting an interest shows the seller that you are seriously uh, interested in buying the property, but right. doesn't bind you to it. Thanks very much, Angela. Okay, thanks Cheers. again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Why was I nervous? <laughs> <laughs> How many people do I phone every day? <laughs> the next step is to get a survey done. The surveyor will check for any horrors or potential problems. We agreed to meet Gavin and Laura back at Botanic Crescent a week later to find out the news and, all going well, to make a bid. We heard you had a survey done. Mm. What did it tell us? Uh, more than one thing, which yeah, I think was the problem. Firstly, the boiler was in the wrong place. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you remember, it was in a, a wall of, of the, yeah, yeah. the sitting room. And he was worried it would cause dampness in years to come. The second thing was one of the outside walls, which he felt was beginning to bulge. The other thing was the wall that came from the, the block of flats onto the mews, which had the bathroom underneath oh, yeah, it. Yeah. He also wasn't sure who was legally responsible for that. And also the roof. Which, I mean, we, we noticed ourselves yeah. when we had a look, yeah. didn't we, that yeah. it, it hadn't been overhauled like no. the rest of the place had. And he was just concerned, basically, that in five years' time that, you know, we'd have to redo the whole thing, which obviously mm. would end up being a lot of money. Yeah. So you've withdrawn? Yeah. And moved on. I mean, you've got to be entirely comfortable. It's a massive decision for you to take. Yeah. It's, it's not our decision.